Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry, and for today's video, I'm going to be customizing my Nintendo Switch. Let's go ahead and get right into it. For this modification, I'm going to be swapping out the back plate on my original Nintendo Switch with this beautiful white soft touch back plate by Extreme Rate. I've shown a few Extreme Rate products on this channel before. They specialize in top quality um, replacement parts for or replacement shells for gaming devices. Today we're going to be using, like I said, this white back plate. It does come with a white kickstand to match, but I ordered the pink kickstand separately because I kind of wanted a contrast of colors on there. So this is the kit for the kickstand, and this is a kit for the um, entire back plate with the kickstand. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to open these up and show you what comes in each. Alright, so in the back plate kit, we have a little cute um, extreme rate card. Then these are little replacement pieces that we're going to be putting on the new back plate. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. These are extra screws if you want to replace the screws that are um, on your device. And then these are the um, little drill bit pieces that will go in here because we do have two different kind of screws, a four pronged screw and a three pronged screw. So you'll be switching um, it out as you go. And I'll tell you when to use which um, screw. Then we have the back plate itself. So here is the kickstand. You can't feel it, I wish you could, but it's this really soft touch, nice uh, material. And I chose white, and here is the back plate. Now this is the kit that you get if you bought just a kickstand replacement. And I chose the cherry blossom pink color, soft touch replacement. This kit comes with two cherry blossom pink kickstands, business card again, and then we have, here we have the, um, the four prong screwdriver because this is the only one that you'll need for this, and then two replacement screws, and then here we have this little replacement metal piece that I'll show you how to use in a bit. Alright, so I've gone ahead and pulled out everything that I believe we're going to need. I also pulled out these little Kuromi containers that I usually use to help me organize um, bits and pieces as I'm working. So I'm just going to set this one and the tray down here and use that. Um, I'm not going to be using this um, like screwdriver set that came with the kit because I don't want to be swapping out the um, bits considering that I already have these two. This is the four and the three prong um, screwdrivers. I got these from a separate Extreme Rate kit. So I'm gonna be using these instead of this one. So I'm gonna put this little kit aside for now. The gold is the three prong. So whenever you see me using the gold, that's for the three prong screws and the silver is for the four prong screws. So the device that I'm modifying today is this Nintendo Switch. It currently has a gamer pushing skin on it and if you're not new to this channel you saw me customize this switch with this skin on it before i'll um, link the full length video in the description for you guys if you want to see that customization and the matching dock that i did and everything with it the skin is from sticky bunny co i'll link them in the description i think their skins are phenomenal they um apply very easily and they last really long i believe i've had this for about a year and it still looks really good so it kind of hurts to um get rid of it but it's time for a change so we're going to be getting rid of this skin and swapping out the back shell i'm going to start by removing the joy cons setting those aside and now we can remove the skin you can use um, a pair of tweezers 
or your nail and kind of just find an edge to start peeling up from. Now we have the skin fully removed. You can see there's a little bit of residue like here. And I think that's the only area that had any residue. So if you have residue like that, it's really easy to get rid of. You can use um, a cotton swab or a cotton ball or a cotton pad like this. And a little bit of alcohol. Or alternatively, if you don't want to do that, you can also use these pre-pepped alcohol prep pads that's just a little pad with alcohol on it. And then gently kind of rub side to side wherever the um, stickiness is and it comes off pretty easily. And as you can see, the stickiness that was there is now gone. Just let this air dry, it'll take a couple seconds, and we can replace the back screen now. So as you can see, the residue that was there um, was removed pretty easily. It's still a little wet, but it'll air dry in a few seconds. You can even watch. It'll all just air dry. And so if you're worried about the skin living residue, you can see that it's not a big deal. It's easy to clean and your device will not be um, damaged or ruined. So now we can go ahead and remove this back plate. So we're gonna start with removing a few screws. We're gonna be removing this middle screw here, these four screws, two, three, four, these two screws, and this one. I'll go over it again. One screw in the middle, one, two, three, four screws, then these two at the bottom and the one at the top. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've gone ahead and removed all of these screws. The long screws are the one, two, three, four on the back. And then from these, the slightly longer one is the one in the middle and the shortest ones are the two and the one. So I'll go ahead and remember that and keep them kind of separated. Next, we'll be doing the kickstand. So we're just gonna do this and then pull the kickstand out like that. And then we'll unscrew this three prong screw here. And then with a pair of tweezers, we'll come in and pop this little silver piece out. Just like that, set that aside. And then here in this slot, you'll want to pull out your memory card. Set that aside and then remove this four pronged screw here. At this point, you should be able to remove the back plate now. So just very carefully kind of get in around all the sides and kind of wiggle it open.
Okay, I can already see where I made a mistake. I took the middle um, screw out from this side, but I didn't take the um, one that was on this side out. So let's go ahead and remove that now. And now it's easy to remove. All right, now that we've got the back plate off, you can see that it's pretty dusty. We're going to need um, this part here, which is like a dust cover for the speakers, and then these little adhesive pads here. But luckily we won't have to remove them from this kit because Extreme Weight has supplied them in their kit. So we have the two covers and the um, little uh, square pads so these have an adhesive on the back we're just going to peel the adhesives and stick them here and these two will go here and here and then the little adhesive pads will put one here and one here the kit does come with four but you only need the two so let's go ahead and do that You can just use your fingertips to go ahead and press those down or if you have like a silicone tool like this just use the silicone side to um, lightly press these into place. This is a little crooked and I know it doesn't really matter as long as it's um, protected, but just for the sake of my sanity, I'm going to go ahead and lift it and straighten it out. Alright, that looks great. Next, we do want to retrieve this little um, game card slot piece from here so you would just unscrew it from here i do have this kit from extreme rate which is a front cover kit and this is to um, replace the front cover of the switch this is a little more of a daunting task i think in my opinion it takes longer and it's more detailed so i would definitely watch their video for how to do this i'm not going to do it today but i probably will try to do it um, next week but I did want to open the kit. And show you that it has a little game card replacement slot. So I'm going to just go ahead and replace that today with the white one. So you'll just need to place this into the back piece like this. And then you'll screw on this bit here, there. So I'm gonna remove that part from here and um, attach it here. Just like that, we'll leave that game card slot in there. And there you go. Alright, so before we continue, I'm going to prep the kickstand. We're going to be using this kickstand instead of the black one. So we're just going to grab this and we can use either the same metal piece that we just removed or um, the replacement piece that came with the kit. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same one and we're going to put it back, oops, <laughs> put it right into the slot here. You can use tweezers, but I'm just going to use my fingers like that. 
And then we're going to replace the screw, which is this little silver screw. Okay, now that the screw is back in, we can go ahead and set this aside and we're going to replace the back plate. So just carefully realign it and put it back on. So very important piece of information here before we um, close the back plate we need to remove this piece here and place it here or else our kickstand won't snap in so let's go ahead and do that now Alright, now we can replace the back plate. All we're going to do is put it back in place and snap it in. Alright, now that we've got the back plate on, we can put the screws back in. We're going to have, if you look here, these four longer screws are going to go here, 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 and here. And then these two medium sized screws, one here in the middle and the other here in the middle. As far as these tiny screws, the tiniest little one is going to go here. And then the other three are going here, here, and here. So let's go ahead and get that started. I'm personally gonna start with the four. Alright, now that we've got the back plate on, we just put our SD card back in. And then we'll clip this back on. So we've got our kickstand in. Everything is secure and I think it looks great. It's really beautiful. I'm super happy with it. I'm going to show you guys um, my custom Joy-Cons that I did. And we're gonna go ahead and make this kind of cuter. All right, now that we're finished modifying the switch and replacing the shell, I'm gonna show you guys some cute accessories to make it even cuter. <laughs> so, um, as you remember from the beginning of the video, these are the Joy Cons that I was using with this device because they had the uh, Gamer Pusheen skin and they matched the skin that was on there. But now that we don't have the Gamer Pusheen skin on there, these don't really match. So I'm gonna have to do something different with these. If you guys have any ideas for how I should um, modify or customize these, let me know and I'll do that in a video for you guys. But for now, I'm just gonna use these Joy-Cons here that I customized in a previous YouTube video. I'll try to link it below if you guys wanna see how I did this and um, what things I used. I used the uh, Cherry Blossom Pink shells from Extreme Rate with the white buttons from Extreme Rate. And this is how it turned out. I love them and I think they really match the um, uh, the new shells here. It's the same Cherry Blossom Pink with the white and I think it's really cute. So first thing I'm gonna do is um, make these even cuter. So what I decided to do was use these cases from my shop. These are um, clear cases that I decorated with um, little resin pieces that I made, like these little wings and the little heart, and then um, rhinestone them. So I'm gonna be using these. You just place them over the Joy-Con like that. And then you take the back piece, which is a clear plastic, and you just kind of um, snap that on. Like that. And they have this nice grip at the bottom, which makes it like much more comfortable to hold, like your pinky will rest here. So I really like that about them. Plus, I mean, they're just so cute. If you want to order some of these um, for yourself, you can order them on my website. 
check the uh, made to order section for uh, available designs and you can s pick um, a case for your switch switch oled or switch light i don't have a listing right now for just joy cons but if you guys want me to make a listing for um just rhinestone joy cons i can do that these are so cute <laughs> anyway so that's what i wanted to do with those and then i don't like the black of the joysticks so i usually cover those up with thumb grips so today i'm going to be using these pink and white paw thumb grips from geek share I do have this um, cinema roll container, which you guys have seen, where I store all of my thumb grips. And I have a bunch of different cute ones in here. But I picked out the pink and the white paws because I felt like they kind of went with the um, customization for today. I also actually wanted to show you guys I have these new thumb grips that I haven't even opened really yet. And these are from Geek Share. I'll link them if you guys are interested. These white heart would, would actually probably look really cute too. But I think I'm going to stick with the paws for today. So to put these on, I've shown you guys plenty of times. You kind of just roll them inside out like this. And then you'll take your Joy-Con, place the grip over the, um, what do you call this? Joystick? Thumb stick? Whatever. And then um, flip them back. And now they're perfectly on there. I'm going to do the same thing to the left side. Just like that. And now they're like so much cuter. I love the color. I think they're really beautiful. So next thing I want to do is add some um, charms to this. So what I usually do is I'll get a dust plug like this. And I put a little um, silver o-ring onto the end of it. And then this dust plug, it's meant to cover the um, earphone jack, which is right here. It's to protect it from dust falling in. So I'll push this in. And now we have a little hoop o-ring that I showed you I attached to it. And that's where I'll attach my cute charms to. So right now I have, let me show you. I have this cute moon that's available on my website in purple, pink, blue, and white. This is the white one, and I think it's really cute. It goes with this theme, so I'm going to be using that. And then I have these um, cute little satin bell and bow charms that I made. They have cute little bells attached to them and these are also available on my website the listing is for this one with the wings on it but if you don't like the wings you can just mention in your comments that you don't want wings on it and it'll end up looking like this one also if you buy a switch case you can add one of these to your switch case order so since those and then last charm is this cute little karila kuma plush that i like to use the back of her head the material is meant to be a screen cleaner so i just flip this forward and clean my screen with the back of her head so i like to use this one too so all of these will just attach to the o-ring on the dust plug all we have to do with this one i think i'm going to put the winged one aside and use this one just open the clasp and clasp it right on like that and then here's the charm it looks so cute and then with these that have the strap all you have to do is put the strap through the o-ring hole like this and then kind of open it and pull the charm through the hole like that and then it kind of attaches that way and that's how the moon looks. And then I'll attach this one the same way. Since this um, plush charm is too big to fit through there, I'll just unclasp the plush and pull the clasp through here and then reattach the plush okay. 
And then when all three charms are on there, this is how they look. Super, super cute. You can uh, attach these. I'm gonna attach them backwards just so you see how everything looks together from the back, so cute. And then if we remove the Joy-Cons, I'm gonna put them on the right way so that we can see how, they're, how they look that way. So this is how the back looks with the pink and white Joy-Cons. I really like the contrasting, the pink to white. That's why I picked um, pink for the Joy-Cons and white for the back. And then the front is going to look like this. My screen's so dirty right now from touching it as much as I did, so I'm going to try to wipe it clean. But this is how the front looks. So cute. I do have um, the Extreme Rate pieces to replace this front plate to be white, which I'm going to do soon. And then um, they do have a pink... Um, screen protector that covers this black part i actually have one so let me show you guys really quick i'm gonna order a new one for this one but i have one on my other switch so this is my animal crossing switch um and this is how the pink screen protector looks on there so i'm gonna order one of these pink screen protectors to put on here because i think that would look super cute That's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Kitty and Jerry.